Today we're going to learn about commas. What do we know about commas? Hmm. Well, we know they look like a period with a little tail on it. And we know they appear at the bottom of a line, not at the top. But what do they do? Hmm. Let's take a look. Hey there, this is my dog Dexter. He's a strong, smart chihuahua. Would you like to eat Dexter? Wait, what? No, I don't want you to eat Dexter. What's going on here? Hmm. I think that we need some commas. Yay! Let's take a look at some of the ways that we use commas. Basically, we use them to add a little bit of space between words. We can use them after a salutation, which is like a greeting, and after the closing in a letter. For example, if we have Dear Mary, we would put the comma at the end. If we have Sincerely, Juan, we would put the comma after the closing. Sincerely, comma, Juan. Commas also help us indicate direct address. For example, Mr. Jones, may I sharpen my pencil? Or, may I sharpen my pencil, Mr. Jones? Commas are also used to separate coordinate adjectives. For example, I like to eat warm, fresh bread. In this case, I'm describing the bread as warm and also fresh, so I need a comma to separate those adjectives. We can also use commas to separate introductory phrases. When my brother gets home, we will go to the library. Here's another example. Because she didn't study, Amy didn't do well on her test. Commas can also be used to set off the words yes and no. Yes, I would love to go to the park. And finally, commas can be used to separate dialogue from the tagline. Remember that dialogue includes all the words that are actually stated by somebody, and the tagline tells us who said it. There's not always a tagline, but when there is, it needs to be separated with some kind of punctuation. In this case, it's a comma. Now this can get a little tricky because sometimes this comma can be an exclamation point or a question mark, depending on what is actually said. In this case, my mother is just saying goodnight. She's not yelling it, she's not asking it. But instead of putting a period in the middle of a sentence, we're going to change what would be a period to a comma. If you'll notice, the comma goes inside the quotation marks when the dialogue happens first. Here's another example. My mother said goodnight. It's the same sentence, we just inverted the dialogue and the tagline. We're going to start the sentence with the tagline, my mother said, and then we have the dialogue. The dialogue is just a sentence, so it's going to end in a period because it comes at the end. But between said and what was actually said, you need, that's right, a comma. You have to separate the tagline from the dialogue. That's just about it for commas. Now let's go back to Dexter because he's still a little bit upset. Let's look at those sentences from the beginning of the presentation. Hey there, this is my dog Dexter. He is a strong, smart chihuahua. Would you like to eat? Dexter? <gasps> yes! I would!